Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. B, your Cajun Connection, coming to you from inside my home office. Today is January the 4th, 2022. Uh, a good time, four days into the new year, to do just a little reflection. Before we do that, let's get some context. Hey, Google, what is the temperature in Thibodeau? Currently in Thibodeau, it's 56 degrees. With a low tonight of 47. Last night, it it was near freezing. It was right at freezing, 40, 32 degrees. Uh, I'm glad we don't have many of those days. I do like warm weather and I like humidity. Uh, hey, Google, what is the temperature in New Orleans? Hey, Google, what is the temperature in New Orleans, Louisiana? The temperature in New Orleans right now is 52 degrees. With a low tonight of 48 Hey Google, what is the temperature in Sydney, Australia? The current temperature in Sydney, Australia is 72 degrees. With a low tonight of 69. I'd like to know what's going on on the other side of the world just to give us a global perspective and to know what our English speaking friends are doing down under. Uh, maybe even a little pre prelude of what uh, we can expect to be going on in this country. Uh, shortly thereafter. Hey Google, tell us a joke. Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. Cute. Play on words. Love it. Uh, you know, it's getting increasingly, as a point of reflection, it's getting increasingly difficult to live in a quiet and peaceable life. Uh, all over the world, especially in this country, and so much government intrusion with the World Health Organization and National Institute of Health, the Centers for Disease Control, Congress, executive branch of the uh, of government, the the uh, judicial branch. So many things are coming at us at hyperspeed that it's important to put a guard over our minds and to let in what we want to let in and not be overwhelmed by so much. Uh, the pandemic is whipsawing uh, Americans from one extreme to the other. We don't really know what to believe. So much information and disinformation out there. And then social media overload. Uh, some of us just don't know when to turn it off. And that can be a problem. The reason and the mission of this channel is to uh, move beyond all that and to find peace and tranquility where we can. That's why you see me walking through fields and old buildings and so forth. Now, they may have had a turbulent past, but as they currently stand, uh, unoccupied, preserved in many cases, uh, they, they, there's just time to walk through, reflect, walk, and walk out and go on. It could be uh, a quiet, grassy field. It could be a river bank. Mostly uninhabited places or places with sparse population that have more to say about what's happened in the past than what they're currently doing. Those places represent distant memories. And the key word there is distant. But can be a source of good reflection. It's important to reflect and to appreciate. Appreciation is an increasingly rare uh, commodity because, you know, there's such a sense of entitlement that appreciation is getting conflated with uh, entitlement. And people feel, many people, not all, but many people feel like, I don't have to appreciate this because I'm entitled to it. Well, that's not necessarily true. There's real value in hearing yourself breathe. In purposeful prayer and meditation and in missing, listening closely and not hearing the ambient sounds of traffic and screaming neighbors and barking dogs and just the background of city life, that soundscape 
that uh, tends to be there, omnipresent in our lives that we many times hear and don't hear. We're still hearing it. We're just tuning it out. But sometimes it's a way to, it's, time, it's, it's a good thing to just get away from it all. So here we are, four days into 2022. And my question to you is, what is your New Year's revolution? Everybody makes resolutions. Some people make revolutions. But your rest, your, your revelation, what is your New Year's revelation? What is it about your current behavior and your current habits that you know the outcome? You've seen enough. As a revelation, the light has gone off and you've seen enough to know if I stay on this road, I'm going to get this outcome. It's indisputable and it's like clockwork. I know what's going to happen. You've seen your pants, waist size creep up from 34 to 36. From 36 to 38, now you're encroaching on 40. And you realize it's an inevitability if I keep engaging in comfort eating. Revelations. I know the truth. I see it. I know what I'm about to engage in is not good for me, but I'm going to do it anyway. We have a revelation of the outcome. It's time to get on a different path. You know, as we come up on the first anniversary of the storming of the Capitol, the quote unquote, stop the steal. I think I will storm the citadel of my own unruly flesh and subject it to the will of a wise and omnipotent God, the Lord Jesus Christ. It seems to me that the, if unbridled flesh having its way has produced some pretty unflattering results, Unprofitable results. Now, enough of that. It's time to storm the citadels of my flesh and bring it under subjection. How about this? As teachers head back to school, to those uh, institutions of learning, broken institutions of learning, after the Christmas break, maybe greeting them with uh, they, your overstressed colleagues with words of empathy and appreciation would help them transition back into the stresses of, of modern public education. Simply saying, it's good to see you. I'm glad you are here. I think they would find that very refreshing. It would be different. So, reflecting, keep it easy when it's in our ability to do so. Keep it light. We don't look at things in a Pollyanna, with a Pollyanna attitude. We, we understand the ramifications and the seriousness of life. But some balance is, is always going to be uh, beneficial. It's the antithesis of the nonstop barrage of bad news that floods in. So trickles of empathy and appreciation and reflection will help. Remember these lyrics? Can the child within my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I handle the seasons of my life? 
Fleetwood Mac, 1974. All questions, all questions we should be asking ourselves as we reflect four days into what could perhaps be one of the most turbulent years ever. Well, this is Dr. B. I'm your Cajun Connection coming to you again from my home office, reflecting during the first few days of a brand new year. We'll catch you in the next video.